Hey everyone, this is your five minute daily devotional. Today's scripture verses are coming from Proverbs chapter three, verses nine and 10. They read as follows. Honor the Lord with your wealth, with the first fruits of all your crops. Then your barns will be filled to overflowing and your vats will brim over with new wine. I am a big fan of honoring God with our money. I know it's not our favorite topic to talk about, but hear me out. Money is probably the greatest litmus test we have on this planet because it can very quickly and easily tell us what's important to us, tell us where our hearts are, tell us what we value simply by where we put it. I remember a long time ago when I was first saved and I was learning the concept of money and tithing and being a good steward. And I was looking at some past bank statements, some past bank accounts where, you know, where was my money going, which was a first because at that time I wasn't really doing that. I was just sort of spending, not knowing where my money was going. I saw this one place a number of times and I looked at the total of what I had given them and I was appalled. I was like, I am never giving this place one ounce, one penny of my money any longer, and which was a good thing because this place kind of represented an area of sin in my life. Other times, God has asked me to give sums that were outside of my comfort level, above and beyond tithes that were outside of my comfort level. And I remember this one time I had given this one group of people this particular sum of money, and I was just, it was a stretch. It was sort of like, ah, but I did it. I wanted to honor, to honor the Lord and just kind of bless these people. And that day, some other money that I had been waiting for for a while just all of a sudden was just sort of deposited in my account. It was like the Lord wanted to see my heart and see if I would obey him and bless these people. And he already had the other money en route to me. I know that we all get uncomfortable about talking about money in the church or among believers. For some reason, we just don't like it. But honestly, okay, if God created the concept of buying and selling and trade and finances, if he created that concept, which he did, and he has a way in which to do it to for us to succeed, we should probably learn that way so that we can do it the right way. The thing with money is that God doesn't need our money. All of the money is already his. <laughs> All the money is his. Whoever happens to be the richest person on the planet at this particular time, all of their money is God's money. And if God wanted to, he could wipe out all their money like that. He doesn't need it. And I would dare say he probably doesn't even really want it. I think what he really wants is our hearts. He wants to know that, okay, he's first place above all else, above our mortgages or our spouses or our kids or our comforts that if he asked us to, yes, that we would give above and beyond the tithe that we're already giving 10% of our gross income, but that we would give above and beyond that because we loved him, because we put him first. I don't know, friends. I mean, I'm going to say something that's probably a little just strong, but I'm not sure that God can fully bless us in this area unless we honor him with the tithe, with offering, unless we do what he's asked us to do. Our scripture reminds us that we are to bring the first fruits of all of our offerings to the Lord, the very first. And it says, then our barns will be filled to overflowing. Then our vats will pour over with new wine, meaning we are to pay our tithes. We are to honor the Lord with our wealth, with the first of our wealth, and then he will bless us. Then He, we will see the raises and the bonuses and the money kind of coming from wherever, where we're secure, things won't break down. He'll rebuke the devourer for our sake. Then he will bless us. It's an if-then promise of the Bible. If we do this, then he'll do that. But if we don't do it, I mean, how can he trust us? Now, let me be clear. We don't give money to get money. That's not the motive. That's not the purpose. No, we give money because we want to honor God. We give money because we show him that he's first. We give money because we love the Lord. We give back God's tithes because he's commanded it, because he's asked us to. No, we honor the Lord with the first fruits of all of our wealth because we love him, because he's asked us, because he has asked us to do this thing for him. It also, though, does come with promises that he will bless us. But more so than that, he just wants to see that if he were to give us the money litmus test, that we would pass with flying colors, that he would always be first place in our hearts, in our lives. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you, God, for the reminder, God, to put you first, God, in everything. And one of the clearest ways we can do that is with our finances, God. Lord, forgive us, Lord, we have all done it. Forgive us, God, when we have not done this, Lord, when we have not put you first in certain areas, God, especially our finances, God. And please help us, Lord, 
to repent, to turn away from that, to do it now. Lord, it's never too late. You always give us another chance to make it right. Help us to put you first even now, God. Please bless my brother and sister, God. Please show them, Lord, your truth and your word. God, show them, Lord, what they can do, Lord, how they can obey you in this area, how they can honor you in this area, God. And then give them, Lord, the courage to do so, Lord. Give them, Lord, the desire, God, the will. Give them the courage, Lord, to obey you, God, and to honor you, God, because you are so, so worth it. We love you, God, and we thank you in Jesus' name. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me. If you enjoyed this devotional, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, like, and comment on this video. I would appreciate it, and I would love to have you guys. You guys have a great day. God loves you so much. I love you guys. I appreciate you watching. I will see you next time, and God bless you.